Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is optical network. In this session, we will discuss what are the elements used in the basic optical network, then what are the advantages of optical network, as well as we will discuss what are the common uh, topologies, types of connections used in case of optical network. So first part, this diagram shows two optical networks, network one and network two. Actually, this diagram uh, shows the different elements used in case of optical network. I use different notations. Let us discuss all the things in detail. So, S represents the station. This can be a transmitting station or it can be a receiving station. So, S stands for station. Transmitting station, as the name indicates, transmits the information, transmits the data. It can be a receiving uh, uh, station, that is a destination where data or information is received. And of course, this is, a op this is an optical network. So, uh, the transmission of data, transmission of signal takes place in the form of light rays through the optical cable. Now, this is the meaning of word S, that is the station. It can be a transmitting or a receiving device. So, it can be a laptop, it can be a computer, which is used to transmit the signal as well as at the receiver. And again, similar types of devices can be connected. Next is the trunk. As shown in this diagram, this N stands for the nodes. This, this double line indicates a trunk. Trunk is basically a transmission line. All the stations are connected to the common fiber optic cable. A single fiber optic cable is used and all the stations are connected by using different network connection techniques which is called the network topology that we are going to study in detail. So different topologies are there that is ring, star, mesh topology and so on. And all the stations are connected by using a uh, or using a single uh, or common fiber optic cable. This is the function of trunk. So this line as well as these double lines indicates the trunk where stations are connected as well as different nodes in the network are connected as well as R. R is the router as well as router is connected. The next terminology is the node. So I have briefly written some important points. This N stands for the node. So one or more communication lines terminates or stations are connected to this node. So this, this different, these are the different communication lines. These terminates at the, at the nodes or different stations that means transmitting as well as receiving stations are connected to the node. If it is a, an example of multi-fiber communication, that means many fiber optic cables are connected, then again these nodes are used to connect multiple fiber optic cables. There is one more terminology which is called the switching. Switching in optical network means the transmission of data from source to detector through the series of nodes. Different nodes are placed in between source and destination, source and uh, receiver and then the optical transmission takes place. This transmission as I said takes place through the fiber optic cable so it is called a light path because the transmission is in the form of light rays. Next terminology is routing. So selection of a suitable light path, selection of a particular wavelength is called routing of a signal through the network. So as I said, I have shown two networks in the diagram. Uh, this is just one hypothetical example. Network 2 again contains certain similar uh, kind of uh, devices like nodes, then trunks and uh, uh, stations, different stations and so on. So this is the generalized uh, structure which shows elements of optical network. Next, an important part, optical network topology. This topology, network topology, means the network configuration. It represents the virtual connection, how, how the different elements are connected to each other in case of an optical network. This connection may be the physical connection or it may be the logical uh, configuration. Physical uh, topology or physical configuration means actual connections, how actually different elements are connected. Then another type apart from the physical connection is the logical uh, topology or logical configuration. In that case, it represents the virtual diagram, virtual configuration. It shows how the data transmission takes place between different stations. Then we will discuss the 
four major types of topology. First type of topology is bus topology. One important thing, this optical network topologies are slightly complicated compared to the normal uh, network topologies. This is because in this case, the elements, network elements are connected to the fiber optic cable, fiber optic link using a device called a coupler. So first type of topology is bus topology. This is the corresponding diagram. It is in the form of bus here. This red uh, colored line indicates the main bus that is the main optical link through which the optical data is transmitting. Different stations are connected station 1, station 2, 3 and 4. So these stations are connected to the main link, main fiber, fiber optic cable using C. C represents optical coupler. Now every station takes out certain portion of optical power from this main bus or main link. The advantage is it is simple to implement compared to the other topologies. Disadvantage is if there is a failure of main bus, then the entire system is failed. Second type of topology and one more thing, this, this topology, bus topology is similar to the normal LAN network used in computer uh, systems. Next is the ring topology. As shown in this diagram, all the stations are arranged in the form of link. This red colored ring indicates main optical cable which is in the form of ring so different stations are connected to this main optical link which is in the form of ring and these stations are connected by using c c is the optical coupler now here every station knows the address of the data to be transmitted or to be received. If suppose station is a receiving station and the station wants to receive accept particular data, then first it checks the address. If there is a match, if there is an address match, then only that particular station takes out the data from this main optical cable. If the address is not matching, then that uh, uh, particular station will not accept the data. It will be forwarded, routed to the next station. So, for example, if station 1 is accepting the data, receiving the data and it checks the address, if it is matched, then it will accept the data. If it is not matched, then it will not accept the data. It will pass, it will route the data to station 2 and so on. So every station, every network element in this case acts as if it is a repeater. So this is the case of ring topology. Again, same thing. The connection is comparatively simple compared to the remaining uh, topologies. But the problem or the disadvantage is that if there is a failure of main optical link, then the entire system is failed. Third type of topology is the star topology. As shown in this diagram, different stations, station 1, 2, 3, 4 and up to station n. There can be n number of stations. All these stations are arranged, are connected in the form of link. Every station is connected to the central hub using a separate optical link. So the drawback of earlier two topologies is not uh, applicable in this case because if any link is failed, then remaining links, entire system will not be failed because the remaining links might be in the working condition. So this is about the star topology. Another major advantage is that any station, any node can be easily added or easily removed by making use of this star topology. Then last type of topology is the mesh topology. It is like a electrical mesh uh, or electrical network connection. So different stations are shown, different nodes can be connected in the mesh form. All stations are connected to different stations using a separate optical link. But this is the complicated topology. Advantage is that even if any link is failed, suppose we are connecting different nodes and if the link between the node is uh, failed, then in that case, the data can be routed, data can be transferred to that particular node again by using different paths. So this is about the mesh connection. So these are the different major optical network topologies. The next part is advantages of optical network. So this is the list of different advantages of optical network. First, large capacity because we know that we are making use of a fiber optic cable and a fiber optic cable is having a better or wide bandwidth. Then we can also use the Babylon division multiplexing which increases the capacity of a system. 
second greater flexibility we have discussed different topologies so you can well add or you can well drop uh, any required node according to the uh, requirement of the design so this designing is flexible then efficiency of the system is improved because of the use of optical cable then scalar length single fiber can be divided into multiple channels we know that we can use the wdm system and wdm that is wavelength division multiplexing uh, system can be easily expanded so it gives better scalability then fifth is longer transmission distance we already discussed this point uh, because of the use of optical cable through which the light ray data is transmitting in the form of light rays it achieves the longer transmission distance and provides higher bandwidth next is the transmission is secured because it is not the electrical signal transmission it is the uh, transmission in the form of photon so this is about the advantages of optical network so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video